Okay, I'm going to explain about what is CVP analysis. So basically, CVP is the study of interrelationship between the following factors. You will have the selling price, volume or the level of activity, variable cost, fixed cost and profit. So if you see, basically, how do you calculate the profit? So profit is the difference between your sales revenue and your cost. So the difference between your sales revenue and your cost gives you a profit. If it is a positive figure, then it, if it is a uh, uh, negative, then it will give you a loss. So I understood that. So basically, CVP analysis looks uh, uh, CVP analysis looks at the relationship, the interrelationship among all these factors. So uh, sales or the selling price, the volume, the level of activity, the variable cost, fixed cost, and the profit. You know that the cost can be split into your variable and fixed. So it looks into the relationship of all these factors. Uh, so CVP analysis is used to determine how changes in cost and volume affect a company's profit. So what's the purpose of this? So it helps the management in planning and decision making. It also provides a, like a snapshot of the company's activity. Okay, and then it is very useful for the management as it provides on the uh, insights of the effect of the uh, interrelationship of these various factors that can influence your profit. Okay, the cost, the volume, uh, the sales, etc. Okay, uh, this is normally useful for the short term planning. Okay. And uh, for short-term planning, normally we use the marginal costing technique. So what is basically marginal costing technique? So it is a concept whereby uh, the management looks at the cost and split the cost according to the behavior of the cost. Behavior means you look at how the cost behave. Uh, that is, the, you can split the cost based on the fixed cost and variable cost. Or if you have a semi-variable cost or semi-fixed cost, you need to split that cost according to the uh, fixed cost or variable cost. Uh, one of the techniques that is being used to split your cost into fixed cost and variable cost is by using the uh, high and low method. And another important technique in the CVP analysis is the break-even analysis. So that is basically what CVP analysis is all about. Okay, next, I'm going to explain to you about the break-even uh, analysis. Okay, break-even is the point whereby you are making no uh, profit or no losses. Okay, you are not suffering any losses, nor you make any profit. So, it is saying that your total sales is just enough to cover your total cost. So, at break-even point, these are the criteria. Your total sales equals to your total cost, or your profit equals to zero, or your sales minus your variable cost minus your fixed cost equals to zero, or you can say your contribution equals to your fixed cost. So uh, if you, you look here, your sales minus your total variable cost minus your total fixed cost give you your net profit. So selling price per unit times your unit sold gives you your total sales minus your uh, variable cost per unit times your unit sold give you your total variable cost minus your total fixed cost because uh, normally fixed cost is being given in total that gives you your net profit okay so in short sales minus total variable cost minus total fixed cost give you your net profit to understand this better you look here okay your your total sales minus your total cost give you your profit. So when your sorry, uh, so that means if you have here, let's say total, I just take small figure. Let's say your total uh, sale is twenty, and let's say your total cost is also twenty. So twenty minus twenty gives you <coughs> sorry zero. So, at break-even point, we are saying that the company is not making any profit. So, if you are not making any profit, the profit will be zero. So, if your profit is zero, that means total sales minus your total cost is zero. So, that gives you your 
I can also say that at break even point, so at break even point, you can say at break even point, your profit equals to zero. I can also say that total sales equals to total cost. How do I, how do you arrive at that? Here we see your total sales is 20, your total cost is 20. So that gives you a profit of zero. So you bring that out, uh, means your total sales equals to your total cost. Okay, that is total sales equals to your total cost. Next, your total cost can be split into fixed portion and the variable portion. So total cost consists of fixed cost and variable cost. So I can say sales minus variable cost, that gives you a, a, a an item that is called contribution, which I will explain to you after this. So sales minus your variable cost gives you your contribution, minus your fixed cost gives you your profit. In other words, sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost give you your profit because we say just now we split our cost into fixed portion and the variable portion. So here you can see sales minus your variable cost minus your fixed cost equals to zero because we say that our profit just now equals to zero this is all at break even point so sales less your variable cost less your fixed cost equals to zero or we can say that contribution equals to your fixed cost so here if let's say we are saying that if let's say your uh, total sales is 20 okay if let's say your total sales is 20 next let's say your variable cost is 12 so your variable cost is 12 that gives you a contribution of 8 if let's say i'm saying that my fixed cost is also 8 so that gives me a profit of 0 so here you can see contribution equals to fixed cost when contribution equals to fixed cost that is your break even point that means contribution is 8 my fixed cost is also 8 so total contribution equals to total fixed cost so that is another criteria of your break even point so in short you need to remember at break even point your total sales equal to your total cost or you can say your profit equals to zero Alternatively, you can say that sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost equals to zero. Or you can say that contribution equals to fixed cost. So this concept is very important for you to understand before you can do the CVP analysis. Next, I will explain to you about the uh, contribution concept in the next video. Thank you.